This is CDX Technologies, and we're going to show you how you can filter a long address list in Microsoft Excel to identify only those addresses within a radius area. This can help find potential customers for a new store, for example, or even help design a direct mail campaign for your business. So here we have a long list of addresses, and let's say we want to find which ones are within a 20-mile radius of the zip code 08016. First we go to another worksheet. This worksheet, by the way, should be in the same workbook as the original address list. And in the first cell we right click and from the CDX Zipstream menu select the function called CDX Radius. Here we input our target zip code 08016 and also the radius distance of 20 miles. Click OK and the first column contains the list of zip codes within the 20 mile radius. This is the target zip code here. And the second column lists the distance from the target. So zip code 19007 is 2.92 miles from the target. So with all this data selected we can define it as a range in Excel. So we're going to input the name zip list here on the name bar and then hit enter. So let's go back to the original worksheet with all our address data. We're going to use the Excel VLOOKUP function to see if any of these zip codes are in the list we just created. But first we need to make sure the zip codes we have are in the right format. So here we use this formula equals text, then clean, then the cell location of the first zip code in cell D2, and we want it in a five digit format like this. This converts the zip codes to text format like the zip codes in the list we just created. It also removes spaces and non-printing characters, and you can see that restores leading zeros to the zip codes as well. To copy this formula down the entire list, just select the cell, put the cursor at the bottom right-hand corner until we see a cross like this, and then just double-click. Just in case there are some zip plus fours in the list, like here, We'll use the left function to fix that. So the formula in the next column is equals left E2 and then 5 and then we just copy that down. So now we're finally ready for the lookup function and here we input equals VLOOKUP and we're looking for the zip code in cell F2. We're looking for it in the zip list range. And if it is found, we want the distance from the target returned to this cell. So we input a 2 since the distance data is in the second column of the zip list range. We also input false in order to find an exact match. And it looks like the zip code was found in the other list. And it's about 5 miles from the target zip. We copy this formula down again, and it looks like most of the zip codes here are within a 20 mile radius of the target. Zip codes not within the radius have an NA next to them. Our final step then is to use Excel's auto filter, which works especially well for very long lists of data. So we click on one of the headings, then select the data tab at the top, and click on the filter icon. This places filter arrows at the top of all the data. In the column with the distance data, we deselect the NA result. And now we see only the addresses found within the 20 mile radius. So this is a great example of how we can use the CDX radius function of CDX Zipstream to filter address data based on distance from a target zip code. If you'd like more information about CDX Zipstream or would like to try a free demo, please visit us at www.cdxzipstream.com.